So before the video starts, I just wanted to make a huge shout out to uh, a fellow Easy member that I ran into uh, last week at a Naughty Foundry pug run. This is the uh, the sexy chocolate goddess, Braun. I, I think it's Braun. Uh, hopefully I'm saying your name right, man. If not, I apologize. I really do. But uh, shout outs to you, man. Yeah, I met you, uh, met this guy in the uh, in an RU Foundry uh, pug run. And uh, yeah, he wanted a nice little shout out for you. So uh, there you go, man. Uh, real nice guy, super down to earth, super chill, and uh, another fellow destroyer for the uh, the BNS community right there. So there you go, man. Nice little shout out for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching the videos. Your support is very much appreciated. Guys, if you want a shout out as well, and you, if you see me on a pug run, you want a shout out, don't be afraid to ask me. Uh, but of course, you do have to run into me in uh, LFR. I am not going to shout you out if you put it in the comment section below. you got to run into me uh, by chance. Uh, in a pug run, and uh, you can have a shout out. Uh, uh, and yeah, yeah, you can have a shout out. But like I said, you just gotta run into me in a pug run. So uh, yeah, man. Um, anyways, guys, let's get on to the video. What's going on, guys? This is the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life, coming back at you guys once again with another Blade and Soul video and today man another discussion video for you and I wanted to touch upon a topic that has been recently been talked about in terms of the destroyer community and that is Rift Walk performing better than the mainstream path yes now oh. I wanted to say this right now since the fact that uh, some of you have been asking me what my thoughts about it and some of you have actually told me about this you know at first I didn't hear about this okay I didn't know this this uh, this whole riff walk situation was actually going around but apparently it has been proven already that the riff walk uh, and this is in the Korea uh, Korea region that riff walk is actually performing better in uh, than the mainstream weapon but this only applies as I understand it this only applies to earth build okay this only applies to earth build shadow we'll talk about in just a second but I wanted to make this announcement and tell you guys that in the future those of you fellow destroyers out there who are earth destroyers or shadow and thinking about going to earth uh, let me tell you this right now that riff walk apparently is going to do better than the mainstream weapon and because of that i am jumping on the bandwagon as well i am going riff walk path yes that is right i was planning to go to the goddamn raven axe but after seeing the proof after seeing the proof and co confirmation that riff walk is performing better than uh the mainstream weapon I'm all for it. I'm definitely all for it. Anything to improve my DPS, I will take it. And apparently this special pathway is doing wonders. Now, the way I understand it, like I said, is that this only applies to Earth build. And this is because of this ability that the Riftwalk Axe actually has. As you can see, it says it has the Fury cooldown of 30%. Okay. Now, Earth build actually depends a lot on the Fury buff itself, okay? When we Fury as Earth Destroyers, we, uh, we use our Wrath, as well as our Cleave, and as well as our Mighty Cleave. And obviously that combined with our Souls, or even the, the Bracelet, right? The Tiger Effect Bracelet, uh, Mighty Cleave, and Wrath do a fuck ton of damage. It really does do a lot of damage, ob for the obvious reasons. When I am a shadow, when I'm using shadow build, the only thing I'm really using is wrath, okay? I'm using a lot of wrath, and obviously I cannot cleave. You can't cleave in shadow for the obvious reasons. Um, so, I did a comparison test on Akramar, and the results were very simple. Earth build, uh, the initial burst of earth build did, 10, 10, did about 10k DPS more than the shadow build. Uh, initial burst with fury so that pretty much proves that uh, earth build is actually uh, uh, has a better earth build does more dps and depends more on fury than the shadow because obviously with shadow you know and i fucked around with the rotations a bit i when i did shadow usually you're only supposed to do wrath but i did a couple of eradicates i did a couple of gale forces i put down the stomp i did everything i could to increase the dps on shadow when you while using fury the highest i got it to was maybe about, um, you know, with the setup I'm about to show you here is uh, about like 60, 60 to 65k, whereas with Earth I was able to get it up to almost 80k uh, DPS. So the difference is quite substantial. And no, I'm not using the raid earring that I showed you before. I'm using this, uh, you probably can't see it. Hang on. 
I'm using this shitty Oblivion earring, so I, obviously if those of you thought I was using the Earth earring and saying, Oh, fucking Earth obviously does, obviously does more damage because you're using the Raid earring. No, 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 I did the test with the Oblivion earring. I'll show you again in this video, uh, but uh, yeah. Um, for the obvious reasons, Earth is actually more dependent on the Fury, whereas with... Um, God damn, how did I get it? There we go. Uh, more dependent on Fury, whereas Shadow is going to be more dependent on that elemental damage. Uh, elemental multiplier. What I mean by that is, obviously you know that Shadow is not a bursty build. It's not very bursty at all, therefore it can't animation cancel. What I mean by that is I'm able to get, because Earth is so animation cancel dependent, I'm able to get four hits in a second with Earth, whereas with Shadow I'm only able to get two hits a second with, uh, yeah, with Shadow, since it's not animation cancel based. So, to make up for that lost DPS because it's not animation cancel based, this is why Shadow Destroyers have to stick with the main, uh, the, uh, the mainstream path, because it's gonna depend more on these elemental multipliers, as you can see, what Raven gives, it's, you know, it's gonna buff the Gale Force, it's gonna buff the Eradicate, do more Shadow damage, whatnot, and that is what's gonna make up for that lost DPS, whereas with, with, uh, the Rift Walk, Earth obviously performs better during Fury than Shadow does, so the more Fury we can pull off with Earth, the better our DPS is with that build, and that is because and that is why Riftwalk is gonna be more superior. Obviously, if you do not want to take my word on it, there is a link in the description box below. I want all of you who do not believe me to check it out. You have to see this, and in that link will take you to a forum where. There are other links in that forum that will show you video proof, video proof by the infamous Korean destroyer Kisu, co in comparison with Earth build with the mainstream weapon as well as the Riftwalk weapon. If you watch his videos, you will clearly see that the Earth, uh, the Riftwalk weapon will perform better than the um, the uh, the mainstream weapon. Okay, and this, like I said, this only applies to Earth build. So if those of you who are Earth Destroyers and you already have the Raven Axes, I want you to do one of two things. Okay, one, I either want you to go talk to support, revert your weapon back, and go to the Rift Walk. Or two, I want you to switch your accessories up and go farm or, or try your best to get the Shadow accessories. If you absolutely do not want to take that Raven weapon away, or leave that Raven weapon as an Earth Destroyer, get your goddamn Shadow accessories, man. Okay? So that's what I want you to do. Those of you who do not have the Raven weapon, save your materials and start collecting Void Fragments because the Riftwalk Axe for Earth Shores is going to be superior. Now, those of you who are saying, well, I, I, I ran into a destroyer, an Earth Destroyer who, who used the Raven Axe and he did goddamn 200k, 200k DPS. That's great. Okay, that is, that's fucking awesome. That's great. But we all know... The era of Black Tower, Skybreak Spire, is not going to last forever. There are a few pieces of gear in the next upcoming raids that we are going to use that is going to tie in to Riftwalk. What I mean by that is, the way I understand it, that we're going to get some kind of um, some kind of elemental gear piece that that procs <clears throat> elemental damage. Excuse me, elemental damage just off of doing whatever DPS, uh, whatever damage dealer ability that you have as well as some kind of soul badge in the future there's gonna be another soul badge that is gonna enhance our smash uh, and therefore reduce the fury cooldown even more so okay so with the ability of the fury on the riftwalk X as well as that soul badge fury is gonna be reduced quite a lot and since fury already performs better on earth build obviously like I said you can kind of tie in with each other like, you know, you can kind of tie it together if you think about it, right? The less Fury cooldown, the better, because the more Fury you can use, the better Earth is going to surpass, right? I had to talk to you guys about this because it was on my mind. It was boggling me, and I was just getting ready to get the Raven Axe 2, and I had to do my research, and I finally just want to overall give this information back to you guys. I want, if those of you who have not heard about this, yes, Riftwalk is going to come out on top. Uh, in the future for Earth Destroyers, okay? Like I said, because Shadow is not very bursty, because Shadow does not rely on animation canceling, Fury is not going to... If Fury is not going to make up for its lost DPS, Shadow will depend and always will depend because the way of the structure of the build is will always forever depend on that elemental damage multiplier. Whereas, like I said, with uh, Earth, it's all about that fury. So, uh, yeah, guys, let's do a little bit of a, 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 ta uh, a taste test, a taste test on uh, 
this on your boy, your main man, Akramore, the uh, Eternity Belt provider, vendor. Uh, and uh, I got this, I got my Seraph Axe. Now, obviously, this isn't the Riftwalk Axe, but as you could see, I'm just kind of basing it off of a weapon that has the Fury cooldown reduction. Um, so we'll do a little bit of a damage test just to uh, just to prove to you that uh, Fury on Earth build performs better. And hopefully those of you will believe me, right? I'm using the Oblivion Earring just so, you know, obviously it, obviously Earth would do a lot more damage than Shadow if I use this, this earring. So obviously don't want to use that. Um, I got the damage meter. Damage meter right here. I'm on Shadow build right now. As you can see, we're using Shadow today. And, uh, of course, we will go back and forth. I'll start off with the regular rotation that no people usually do. This is the Stomp, Fury, and just Wrath the entire time. Then we'll manipulate it maybe a couple more times just to show you, uh, just to get our DPS a bit higher, right? So, let's, uh, let's keep an eye on this, uh, this, uh, this meter here. So, I gotta look in a, just a little bit closer. The numbers are quite small for me. I apologize. Uh, but let's go ahead and start this. So all I'm gonna do is Wrath. Okay, I saw about 47, was it 47 to 50k? 47 to 50k with uh, just going that route. Let's try this one more time. We'll fuck around with the DPS, meaning we'll do a couple Gale Forces now. So Stomp, Fury, we'll just Gale Force until, you know, whenever it's up. And... Okay, 61, okay. 61k, so I got 61k on that initial burst. Let's try this uh, one more time. And let's see, initial burst. We'll do Eradicate, bam, two, three, Gale Force, we'll do some of this, because why the fuck not, do some of that, bam, 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 okay, alright, I didn't actually see how much that was, but that looked like about 60k, I'll try it one more time, try it one more time, try it one more time. Okay, that looked like about like 56 to 58. So regardless on the best I got it there was about 60k. All right, that was about 60k at best with that first initial burst. Let's try out. Uh, let's try out that earth action. All right, let's do a little bit of the uh, earth action here. Um. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So try this. I'll do my regular rotation, right? Even if I, I'll, I'll even smash it right in the beginning too, even though I have the the, uh, the primal force. Okay. Okay, about 71K. All right, so I did 71K there. We'll try it one more time. Try it one more time. You know, we can't just go base it off of one test. And 73. Okay, 73. Got 73 there. Try one more time. Two, one, and... Okay, about 74. Okay, so the highest number I got there was 74. You can clearly see that Wrath plus Fury... No, Fury plus... Yeah. Yeah, Fury... Plus Wrath, plus Cleave, plus Mighty Cleave, does a fuck ton of damage, as opposed to the uh, the Shadow method, right? Now I even did a little bit more testing behind the cameras. Unfortunately, I don't have footage of that, but I was able to sustain. I, I even kept going in the fights with both Shadow and Earth build. After the first initial burst, I waited until Fury was up again, and with Shadow, I was able to sustain about 42k DPS. Uh, with this setup, obviously, if I was, you know, I had more gear, different gear, um, you know, I, I, obviously, the DPS would be higher, but I'm just trying to give you a simple, I guess, guesstimate on numbers, right? Okay, so 42k, 42k DPS at best with Shadow build uh, in a long, prolonged fight. With the Earth build, I was able to sustain 50 to 53k DPS um, with the Earth build, right? I, obviously, like I said, I waited until the Fury was up, and I did my regular rotation. Uh, but, but, yeah, my regular rotation that I usually do with the uh, the first six seconds of the fight. I waited until all the cooldowns were done. I did it again. So in a long, prolonged fight, it's about 50 to 53k DPS with Shadow. 
with only about 42k DPS. And the reason why it's it's different like that is because of its initial burst. Like I said, we we're able to get up to 70k uh, DPS, uh, 70k at deeps with the Earth Build way with Fury. Whereas with Fury on Shadow, messing around, even messing around with the rotation, doing a couple of Gale Forces and Eradicates. It only goes up to 60 and drops down to 40, whereas, like I said, with, with the Earth build, it, it went up to 70 and dropped down to 50. So, you can see the overall difference in DPS there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that is the difference between the uh, both the builds. So, uh, yeah, guys, um, like I said, once again, just to sum it all up, if you are, just to sum it all up, if you, if you are a full-fledged Earth Destroyer or thinking about going to Earth or if you're Shadow and you want to switch to Earth, make sure you go the Riftwalk route because one day in the future, you know, a couple months down the line, it's going to outplay the mainstream weapon, okay? Just because just because we can use Fury more uh, with the Riftwalk X, right? As opposed to the, uh, the Raven X. Like I said, we're very dependent on Fury as Earth, so the more Fury, the better the better Earth will succeed. Because Shadow... Because Shadow is so... Depend... It's, it's not... Because Shadow is not an animation cancel build. Because it's not a very bursty build in general. Um, it's going to depend more on that elemental multiplier damage. To make up for its lost DPS. Because it cannot any cancel. Okay. Like I said. Two hits a second with Shadow. Four hits a second with Earth. Can clearly see the difference there so yeah guys that's pretty much all i wanted to talk to you guys about uh today uh as opposed to future gear i guess one more topic in terms of like soul badges and whatnot gear and whatnot i guess i i believe the way that we can actually proc and reduce the cooldown or or no not proc uh the way we can proc wrath even more so uh in the future and this is going to be good for the uh, the Riftwalk Earth users, right? Is uh, if we, if we obviously if we use the Primal Force Soul Badge, right? We uh, we get more Wrath when we smash. That's why I wait to the last second to smash so I can get three more seconds of Wrath. But I believe when we start combining Soul Badges together, we can actually use this one right here, the Eternity Soul Badge, which triggers the Cobalt effect, which gives us more Wrath. Uh, for another three seconds uh right three seconds yeah gives us more wrath for another three seconds after the stone shield has been broken i was a little bit skeptical about this badge you know i really was because i thought that wrath would be pr procced when the shield was up but apparently the cobalt effect procs when the shield is broken after the four or eight seconds duration that it's up then um yeah basically just break the shield i guess if you don't need it or use it you know get your wedge get your health hp back and then after it uh, it breaks uh, you can use Wrath for another three more seconds. So in the future, I believe this is going to be a good badge, these two right here. So you want to get that Mushin badge, guys, just for the future, just so you can combine these two together, Primal and, and Eternity. So we're going to be able to get Wrath from our Smash, as well as our Stone uh, Shield, right? And obviously, the more Wrath, the better, because when Wrath gets procced, our Mighty Cleave cooldown also gets reduced. And more Mighty Cleave, the better, because if you look at the bracelet, if you look at the bracelet, Stage 10, uh, it triggers, every time we use Mighty Cleave, it's going to trigger the Tiger effect, which is going to do 200% uh, more additional attack power bonus, right? On a successful, uh, yeah, it is, right? Yeah, it triggers Tiger effect on a successful Mighty Cleave. Um, yeah, well, 200% uh, uh, during the Tiger effect. Right, yeah. So as you can see right there, it, it, it pretty much... It pretty much ties in all together if you think about it, you know, uh, the more wrath the better because the more wrath we the more mighty cleaves we can do and uh, the more furies the better because wrath plus cleave does a fuck ton of damage. So yeah, like I said guys, you can clearly see the difference there. Um, but um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you guys. I hopefully that god damn it. I hope that wasn't a long discussion video. Um, don't want to waste your time obviously. But uh yeah, like I said, if you if you still do not believe me, you got to uh, you got to see that link. That link is in the description box below. Also, one more thing is uh, this is the um, this is the uh, the Mystic badge that you also want to go for. And this is what the Mystic badge I'm going to go for in the future as well. Uh, Mighty Cleave is reduced by two seconds per wrath that I do, but with this I'm able to use Mighty Cleave 
uh, the mighty cleave cooldown is decreased by every four seconds. So once again, tying into the whole bracelet and proccing wrath more often, I'm able to use mighty cleave even more so. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it kind of ties into each other with this gear. So uh, yeah, so the more wrath, the more mighty cleave, the more fury, the more wrath, the more DPS, right? Um, but uh, yeah, guys. So yeah, man. You gotta think about these things sometimes in terms of the future. You gotta figure out what's best for you. You gotta figure out the pinnacles that you plan to reach. And you overall need to think these things through. So, um, yeah, and it, and it makes me happy. It really does make me happy knowing that I don't have to fight over the, the, the Raven King's ferocity to get my weapon. I could just collect void fragments and uh, I'm able to get there. So, um, yeah. It makes me happy. It really does. I'm even I'm even more fucking happy to be a destroyer now because I can go this this awesome this this alternative route and do even more and make the make the mainstream weapon look like a joke. You know what I'm saying? I think that's fucking awesome. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, that is pretty much about it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts and in, in your opinions in the description box. Uh, the description box. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the uh, the whole Riftwalk changes or the whole, uh, you know, Destros can go Riftwalk now um, and, and all that jazz. So, uh, yeah. Let me know, guys. And check out that link. Check out that fucking link. I, I'm telling you right now, you got to check out that link because you have to see his videos. You have to see Kisu's videos. It, it's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind how much damage Riftwalk can do. And, uh, and whatnot. Remember though, remember, but one last tip of advice before I leave you. Remember, this only applies to Earth build. It does not work Shadow. Alright? Remember that. It's very important. But other than that, have fun. Right? Have fun, because it's, it's just a game and we all gotta have fun. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more to come your way. Hope you're all having a very easy day. I love you all as always. This has been the White Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life. And I'm out. Peace! Thanks for watching today's video, guys. It really means a lot to me. If you like what you see, then don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Or even better yet, click that bell you see on the screen now to become part of the notification squad today. In order to get notified when a new video gets uploaded, increasing your chances to write first in the comment section below. Now all my social media links are in the description box below, and if you don't give a shit about any of that, then just share this video with your friends, share this with your family, or even share this with your mom. Any support at all is greatly appreciated. I love you guys as always, and I hope you're all having a very easy day, and this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life, and I'm out. Peace!